guys, how's it going? I'm Karen and welcome to Decor Hint, all about DIY projects, decorating tips, and creating a home that you love on a budget. Today we're talking about beanbag chairs. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but beanbag chairs can be crazy expensive. So I set out to make my own and um, here's the final product. My kids love it, it turned out really great. Um, it's not perfect, but um, it works and I'm excited to show you how I did it. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me so you can see all my videos and get notified of new ones. I link to everything you're gonna need for this project in the description, so be sure to check it out. We're starting with two yards of fabric. I'm using a canvas um, duck fabric that I got from Joann's. Lay it out on the floor, and what we're gonna do is fold it in half We're going to sew a seam down the open side of the long side of this uh, fabric here. Um, don't worry about seam allowances or anything like that. Just um, do your best. I lined it up as best as I could and I just sewed a straight seam. You wanna make tight stitches here because um, these bean bags are gonna take a lot of abuse. Just to keep things neat and pretty, I am cutting off the excess fabric from the uh, line that I just sewed here. All right, so lay your fabric out on the floor again. We're going to fold it in half again and uh, just line it up as best as you can. And from here, we're going to just cut either a straight line down from the um, inside corner or you can do kind of a rounded edge. It's up to you, it doesn't matter, either way works. So when you open this up, you should see a nice rounded edge or kind of a triangle shape. This is optional, but I'm just creating a little loop um, that I'm going to sew into one of the seams so that my kids can use the loop to kind of pull the bag around. You don't have to do this though. All right, so now we're going to sew that, um, that semicircle or triangle shape, whatever you just um, cut. We're going to sew that shut. Um, I'm just sticking my little loop in here um, so I can sew that into the seam here. Again, you wanna make really tight stitches or even um, double stitch it or do a zigzag on top just to make sure that it's really, really tight. So now you have this little sack with three closed sides. Um, two of them you sewed and one of them was just folded. You're gonna flip it inside out. I also cut a little bit from the bottom of my bean bag so it wasn't super long. I'm sorry, I didn't get a picture, uh, video of this, but um, you can make them as short or as long as you want. I think the seat part works better when they're shorter. Take this opportunity to try and iron out as many of those creases and fold marks that you can because it's gonna be really hard to uh, iron once we put the beans in. Alrighty, time to fill our bean bags. I tried this so many different ways and the easiest way was just to keep the opening as big as possible, stick the entire bag of bean bag filler in there and just let it fill up. Just warning you that it's gonna be messy and you're gonna to need to vacuum after this. Then we're just gonna close up that final seam. Um, you can hand sew it or use your sewing machine. Okay, so I thought it would be helpful just to give a quick tip on how these bean bags work. I'm gonna grab the camera in a second. They can really be used two ways, so it just depends um, you know, if your kids wanna lay on them or if they wanna sit on them. They're kind of like little boats. Okay, so you can either lay these flat on the ground, so it's like a little floor pillow, or if you flip them onto their side, that's when they take on more of this little um, boat shape. And then what I like to do is just take one of those faux fur sheepskin rug throws that you can buy at Ikea and other places and just throw them on top um, for some added texture and comfort. You can also make little pillows to go on top, which is just kind of a nice decor touch. Um, and there you have it. That is a beanbag chair for a kid. Thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you like this video.